from Melanie on the MP for my hometown of Great Grimsby. Our town has seen a once thriving fishing industry in decline over decades and has had nothing to replace it. At one point, they say you could line up every trawler side by side and walk out a mile to sea. But not now. We've got less than 20 trawlers operating and the town is still feeling the impact. Sally, you run the advice services here at Centre 4 uh, Community Hub and what kind of advice is it that people are looking for and how many people are you seeing? Well, when we first opened about a year ago, we were seeing sort of 20 to 30 people coming through our doors. We've now doubled those figures. We're seeing about 50 to 60 people a week coming through. The sorts of queries that they're coming to us with are perhaps benefits advice. They might need help getting onto a benefit or to challenge a benefit decision. But also they often need help actually getting into work. But there has been a renewal of hope in Grimsby, and that comes from offshore wind. Over the last few years, we've seen five companies set up their base here in Grimsby and there's a new port complex that's going to bring 4,000 new jobs to the area. Rob, we're here today uh, at Dong's Operations and Maintenance Base at the Royal Dock in Grimsby. Could you just tell me a little bit about what happens here? Um, the main thing that we manage is to make sure that people are safe when they're working offshore because it's a hazardous environment. And we also make sure that the turbines run and keep running. And can you tell me where you recruit people from? We've taken people through recruitment process from mainly Grimsby and some from Hull as well and um, it's an excellent area to recruit people from due to the heavy industry. This investment in renewables is also providing opportunities and training for young people. We recognise the significant potential in the region, so we've invested into this multi-million pound facility to provide the education, skills and competencies required for the offshore sector. However, the renewables industry has been under attack by this government since the election in May. They've removed subsidies, they've denied planning permission and they've undermined confidence in the whole sector. This is the industry of the future and it's given hope to young people in Grimsby and a pathway to get them there. We cannot allow this government to pull the rug from under it and put that future at risk.